Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, Elementor website design course video series. In the previous video, I have shown you how you can create the header and the footer section for your website. Now in this video, we are going to work on the site settings for the website. So let's go back to the dashboard. In the previous video, we were working on this footer section and we are on the edit with Elementor. At the top, you will see the option here, site settings. Click on site settings. Under site settings, you will see different options, global colors, global fonts, typography, buttons, images, header, footer, site identity, background, layout, light box, page, transition, custom CSS, and additional settings. You do not really need to customize all these site settings. We will go through the main site settings that we need to work on. So let's go to the top. At the top, we have these global colors. Click on global colors. So you will see four different colors are there. Primary, secondary, text, and accent. Below that, you will see white and blue color that we added manually. This primary color and the accent color will be used throughout the website. And this is the text color that will be used throughout the website. So I want to change the text color. I want to make it more dark. So I'm going to select the color picker and use the dark color for the text. So whichever text element you're going to add on the website, it will use this color as the text color. I also want to use this blue color as the primary color so that it will remain same throughout the website. We are using this color throughout the website as the theme color. So I'm going to change the color. So let's select, let's click on primary color and you can change the color manually or you can use the color picker that we used last time. This is the color that we used. So I'm going to copy the hex code for this color. Go back here and enter the hex code here. Now this color will be used as the primary color for the entire website. Similarly for the accent, you can use the same color or you can use the other color for the accent. So I'm going to use somewhat blue color for the accent. And this is the secondary color. All right, so as of now, we are going to use them as it is. We will change these colors later also. We will add some more colors as global colors. All right, once you are done with the changing colors, click on Save Changes. Let's click Back. Below that, we have Global Fonts. Click on Global Fonts. So you will see some global fonts are there, Primary, Secondary, Text, and Accent. In this right-hand side, you will see this is a primary global font, secondary, text and accent. For the primary color, click on this pencil icon and from the drop down, you can select one of the fonts. So if I click on drop down, you will see many Google fonts available that you can use for your WordPress website. So if I scroll down for the primary, if I want to use, let's use this sunflower. This is how it is going to look. Okay, and you can also change the typography, but we are not going to change the typography right now. You will see Open Sans also, or you can search for the font. So I'm going to use Roboto. I think this is the best font that you can use for your website. However, if you want to make changes, you can change the font from here. Then we have secondary font for the secondary, the default font is a Roboto Slab. You can change the font again. And this is the font for the text. So whatever content you are going to add here, we'll use this font, Roboto. So if you want to change, you can change it. You will see the Times New Roman. Then accent, for the accent again, it is using Roboto. So from the site settings, you can change the global font for your website. Save changes, go back. Then we have typography, click on typography. And you will see the settings for the typography. This is for the body text color. If I click on drop down, we have select text color. So this is going to be the text color. We have already assigned the same color under global colors for the text. However, I'm going to reuse it here. And from here, you can change the typography. So let's say I want to use 18 pixel as the font size for the entire website. You will see it here, content area. If I make it 25, this is how it will look, All right? So I'm going to use 18 pixel for the body font, and this is going to be the color. 
then we have color for the link you will see the link so for the link i want to change the color to let's say blue so the blue color will be used whenever there is hyperlink in the text again you can change the font size now for the h1 if you want to use a specific color then you can select the colors so for each h1 tag it is going to change the color automatically to this one and from here you can change the typography for the h1 let's say i want to use 35 pixel for the h1 58 will look like this if i make it 100 this is going to be the size so i'm going to make it 35 for the h1 for the h2 i want to use another color let's use different one let's say i want to use this one for the h2 so this color will be applied to all the h2 tags and change the size from here let's make it 30 pixel right so this will be the size and the color for the h2 similarly you can change the size and color for the h3 h5 right so i'm not going to make any changes for the color right if i go to h1 you can also change the weight of the font if you make it extra bold this is how it will look so this is going to be the weight for the h1 tag so from here you can change the weight you can also change to uppercase lowercase capitalize you can also add style settings for the h2 tags or h1 tags all right so this is for the font so these are the typography settings save it go back then go to button now this is going to be the default style settings for the button all right so i can change the color this is background color go to text color change it to white you will see the change here go to hover color for the hover also you can change the background color and the text color now this one is not going to show the black color that we selected for the hover because we have it added manually to this red color right for all the other buttons it is going to use the default color settings again you can change the typography for the button you can also add box shadow or border radius if i want to add a radius i can add the radius also and you can also add padding to the button save the changes go back then we have images these are the settings for the images if you want to add border radius for each and every image that you want to show on the website then you can add the border radius or you can change the opacity box shadow and css filter go back form fields you don't need to make any changes here we will work on the form later in the upcoming videos hello theme and header these are the settings for the header and footer however we have already created the header and footer manually so we don't need to go through these settings then we have site identity under site identity we have the site name site description is nothing but the tagline for the site then site logo so here you can add the logo of the site that you can use anywhere on the website however in the footer and the header we have added the logo manually using image instead of site logo i'm going to add the site logo here and this is the option to add site favicon here you will see the globe icon this is nothing but the site favicon so if you want to change this icon you can simply upload a new image i'm going to upload new site favicon icon i have created one using canva so i'm going to use this as site favicon select it and this will be applied here these are the site identities save the changes go back then below that we have background now for the background it is using the default white color if you want to change the background color you can change it from here let's say i want to use it so you will see this color is applied throughout the website so for all the pages or the posts you are going to create this is going to be the default background color you can later add sections and use different colors on the sections so if you are creating a website using dark colors then you can change the background color for the entire website from here right so i'm going to revert it to the white color if you want to add background image then you can also use the background image mobile browser background for the mobile you can change the color let's go back 
and below that we have layout so these are the layout settings you will see the current content width is set to 1140 that is going to be the content width of the website you can change the content width from here all right it will not show here however when we create the pages you will see what is content width here you will see container padding you can change the padding and these are the gaps between the rows and columns so as of now we don't need to make any changes here below that we have breakpoint for the mobile 767 pixel will be the breakpoint and for the tablet 1024 is the breakpoint let's go back light box we don't need to make any changes here then we have page transitions currently it is set to none when the user move from one page to another page these are the entrance animations that you can use so let's use a zoom in and this is the background color so this is how it will work you will see it here All right change it to none preloader you if you want you can also use preloader circle you will see the preloader here icon this is going to be icon or image you can add image and that will be used as preloader you can change the style settings spinning bouncing flash from here you can change the icon also and you can change the size of the icon let's make it spinning so this is going to be the page loader let's save the changes let's go back then we have custom css if you are good with the custom css you can add your own custom css here and we have additional settings these are the basic elemental settings if you go to integrations you can add recapture site keys secret keys then you can also add facebook sdk so these are the integration settings then we have advanced under advanced we have switch editor loader method so i don't think you need to go through all these settings for creating a simple website these are the features all the features available here all right let's close this one once you are done with the site settings you can close it and those site settings will be applied to the website so if I refresh this page, you will see this favicon will be changed. You will see the new favicon is there. And you will also see the preloader that we added. All right. In the next video, we are going to work on the home page of the website. We are going to add different sections on the home page. We will start with the slider on the home page. We are going to use the element of slider or the image carousal. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.